Hello and welcome to Tech. I'm Muhammad Adnan, and in this video, we are going to discuss about how to troubleshoot the Power BI file. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is the Power BI file. Let's take this as an example. We join a company and in that company there was few reports which was already developed by someone else and who is not there in the company and when it goes to the production they got some issues over there and you need to fix those bugs in that report and that task has given to you now in order to troubleshoot those bugs what are the parameters you need to check initially to make sure that everything is placed perfectly and there are few things which are hidden here uh, which I'll walk through on this video, it will be helpful for you in troubleshooting those bug fixings. So let's start with this. This is an example here. You have these two pages, page one and page two in a report. And in this one, I have this slicer on the top with the city and also the sales territory group Europe is selected here. And here the first table on the top left is the territory with the product is territory with the product and the below here is the product with the sales and after that is the product category with the sales and then is the table with the city and then the sales even though i have selected here only europe but if you look at the value here 89 and this is 60 and this is 89 and this is 293 only these two are matching the values and these two are not in order to find the reason behind that first of all you need to check the parameter one is the tax function go here and just check it out what are the tax they are used here here they are used the sales amount two and here they are used some other tax the sales amount and in this table they also use the sales amount and here also they use the sales amount now you just try to change this sales amount to oh first of all have a look at this one this comes from calculate sum of sales amount where the sales territory is europe whereas the regular sales amount calculation doesn't have any filtration over there so now what will happen is for this sake of the slicer is selected to Europe here. So you may not get any difference here if you select anything like North America. Then this is not going to change the value but rest of the things are changing the values here. So in that case also you get a misleading here. So first of all we will replace this table measure instead of sales amount to to this sales amount. Now these, these and these three values are matching here and here's the difference. So we check this one is because of the DAX query and let's have a look at this one. So if I select the Pacific now or if I remove everything, I just need all the data here. In that case, let's have a look at the value. So it is 293, 58, 293, 58, 293, 58, and this is not matching now. So in that case, as we have checked the tax, tax is working fine. The next step is you need to check on the filter pane. So let's click here. Nothing is selected over there. And if you click here, also nothing. And if I click here also nothing whereas if I click here yes there's a filtration applied here it is is not equal to Australia or Germany so if I clear this filtration here now the values are matching so the first thing you are seeing is use of the tags and the next thing is about the filter pin and 
if I select any of the values here again for the Europe, now it has to match all the values, but this is not matching, right? Um, if I select the North America here, it's three of the matching, but this is not changing here. Okay, if something is not changing, then you have to go to this one that is on the format option of the slicer and then check for the edit interaction. I have made a video about the edit interaction as well. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back here, if you click edit interaction, okay, so this has been disabled here. So if I enable this one, now all the values are matching here. So turn off this one. Again, if I select the Pacific here, yeah, it is matching here. If I remove all the slices here, so clear. Now the total value is matching here 293, 293, 293, and 293. Perfect. Now let's go to the table two here by selecting Europe here. So 890, 89, 89, 89, and 89. So let's go to page two here. Now the value which is showing it over there, it has to match here as well, right? Yeah, so 89 is there, but here, here, and here is not matching here. And uh, it's a strange thing, right? It is matching it only here, but not all the places here. Hmm. Because it is a sales territory region here, and here it's just the sales territory. As we selected Europe here, it is Europe but the rest of the things here is not Europe. But if I notice, but if you notice there's a selection here of the city. So I'm just clearing this one to check the value if it is matching or not. 89, oh, still most of the values are not matching it here. For that case, let's click check again all the things. It, it has the filter applied here. Yes, it is there. So remove this. Nothing is here. And it's matching here. And let's check out here. Yeah, it is coming from sales too. So I'm just removing this one and bring it to sales amount itself. Yeah, now it is matching the values. So we have seen about the filter pane, about the tags, and about the edit interactions. Now I'm going to select any city here from this one yeah it is showing this value here and if i go here on the page 2 it is also filtering the value but there is no city filtration here but how come the data has been filtered here even though the territory and all nothing is filtered here but again the data has been filtered here in order to find that you have to go to view and then sync slicer so click here, I think it will show up here. And if you go to page two here, sorry, page one, and click on this city slicer, then you will find on this page here, and this is a sync option and this is a view option. On the page one, you have the sync and view enable. On the page two, you just enable the sync option, the data, but not the visible option. So that's why whatever you're going to make it changes here is going to have an impact here. But initially, when you start to look at the report by page by page, you may not notice that this has been affected by the page one slicer. So you have to make sure to check the slicer, sync slicer as well, by each and every slicer by clicking here and look at the slicer in what are the pages it is going to affect and what are the pages it is going to make visible here. To easily understand, you have to click here. Now it will come up on the page two as well. Now you can easily understand, so this is filtered by the city. So, so far we have seen the four ways to troubleshoot the Power BI file. One is through tags, the other thing is through filter pane, and the third one is edit interaction, and the fourth one is the sync slicer. These are the four key parameters you need to check when you're going to troubleshoot the Power BI file. I hope this video is going to be useful for you in your real world scenarios and we are going to troubleshoot the Power BI file in your company.
If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.